Hey everyone, now we're going to go over how to start seeing those negative shapes around our origami. I'm going to add a couple vertical lines along my drawing to help those triangles and rectangles stand out. Notice how my lines intersect with the point of the butterfly's wing. I add those lines to my sketch. This not only helps see the negative shapes, but also helps place the butterfly on the page. Negative shapes are the area around the object. When I sketch my butterfly, I'm not looking at the wings, but I'm looking at the space between the rings and the edge of my picture plane. By focusing on these abstract shapes in lieu of the object itself, it becomes much easier to render an accurate drawing. In addition, it also simplifies the drawing overall. Again, it's much easier to sketch a rectangle with a little pointy bit than to sketch the wing of a butterfly. You especially want to look for triangles, rectangles, any easier to sketch shapes. As I sketch my object, I not only sketch the outside edge, but I also sketch the interior edge as well. I highly encourage you to use this method of drawing the lines on the reference photos that you've taken. The more reference photos and lines that you add, the overall easier it will be. You'll also notice when I started this drawing, the rectangle has no, the, uh, there's no specific, the measurement of your outside picture plane will depend on your image. So you just sort of want to eyeball the rectangle that you're sketching this in. The final step is, of course, the cast shadows. Don't forget those cast shadows. The interior details, the shadows, the highlights, the cast shadows, and the background all play a role when sketching with white colored pencil. The goal when, when doing these sketches is to have beautiful, lovely cast shadows, to have beautiful, lovely, rich, dark shadows and bright light highlights. So when you photograph your images, if you haven't done so already, be sure to use the lamp that's in the corner of the room. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to speed this up so you can see how I kind of proceed with the cast shadows. And I look forward to seeing your own origami sketches. Please let me know if you have any other questions. And again, look for those negative spaces.